Hey there guys and welcome back to another paint on HD tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to use right here uh, how to add noise and also what noise is um, quite possibly using the drop down shadow and in layers the layers tab right here the rotate and zoom so um, for this I'm going to find this really difficult to do without actually making an image to, to use these effects on because you really you have to have an image to use these effects on or it really just does not work so I'm just gonna um, I prefer just to delete the background because then this is nothing if you were to apply this image to something this should be see-through and this would have nothing on it so uh, there's a pro tip for you right there <laughs> so uh, I'll also make a new layer and uh, I'm gonna start off I don't know what what, sh what should I make Ooh. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Something that I learned before this. Uh, wait, what? Yeah, yeah, I, w I want full shape, yeah. Yeah. But I don't want it in them colours. Okay, it doesn't go in them colours, good. So, um, we'll just make a big black square right here. Uh, you could obviously use different colours, but I'm just gonna use black and white because it's uh, the simplest. You could uh, put them together if you want to, like this, but I'm not going to. I'm just gonna use a basic shape. And what I like to do is, where are you? Where are you? Okay, so I'm gonna make. Oh, what did I just do? <laughs> I clicked the wrong button. Um, I'm gonna make a new layer, and I'm gonna get the line tool right here. And uh, oh, as you can see, it's a very thin line. So I'm just gonna up the brush size to 30. I know it seems a bit much, but it's not. Trust me, it's fine. I'm gonna add the white, so obviously it contrasts with the black, and I can actually see it. I think that's about straight. So, um, you're probably wondering why have I made this line? Well, if I use this magical little tool here, which is the wand tool, which will allow me to just select inside this white line, I can then click back onto the other layer if I click the delete button. Oh, but the white line's still there. But if I delete the layer, oh my god, the white line's gone. And I've now got a hole in there, which is actually what I wanted. I wanted to separate that part. So then if I um, remake the layer, which I had before, and if I get the line tool again, which is stuck at 30 still, and I make another white line going along here, I think that's about straight. If I click back on, no, sorry, if you keep on this layer, you click on there with the magic wand tool again, and you click here, and then you click uh, your delete button on your keyboard, you can then delete this layer, oh, wrong layer, you can then delete this layer, and you will have this back. I've now got an X right there. And um, if I wanted to, I could just like get a circle tool. I can make a big circle here and delete it. If I wanted a big hole in it right there. Uh, no. I want a smaller circle. About that big. That looks better. Okay, good. So, you can make this. Very simple. And um, finally, I'm going to actually get to show you what the other effects I want to show you do. So, the noise, adding noise, does this. It's it's, it's like a stutteration. You know the on your television, if it's an, like an older one, even if it's not, I think you still get static. Um, if, I get, if I put that right into zero, you can see it looks like a static on your telly. If you turn the intensity up, there you go. There's your t there's your TV screen. But if you turn this, if you turn the the intensity down a little bit, or if you turn the coverage down, you can make something look like it's got a texture on it. Like um, I think if you, I don't know if you can actually change the color on it though. Which is a bit annoying, but like you, that's very bright. But you could make something really quite multicolored if you want to. Like I think that you can um. If you make this, like that looks a bit like stars. If you turn the intensity right up and if you turn the coverage a little bit down, you can make like stars. So, yeah, we'll roll with like the star look. We'll roll with the star look. Hold on. Yeah, let's roll with the star look. And um, so that's the first one done. And the second one uh, I want to show you here is in the layers tab. It's the rotate and zoom. And right away, boom, you can see what it does. It rotates your image, which is pretty cool. You can like lie it back. You can, well, you 
can like tilt it forward, you can tilt it back, you can tilt it sideways, tilt it at an angle, you can do it in reverse, you can you can do lots of things with this, I think it looks really cool. Some of the stuff you can do with this looks really cool. So there you go. And I've now got my image facing sideways. And I can select this all. And I can drag it about. Oh. Fail. Major fail. Uh, try selecting the whole thing maybe. <laughs> and then move it. And you can like center again. Then you can do a little deselect thing. Very useful. And uh, the third and final thing I want to show you guys is the drop down shadow. Drop shadow. I call it the drop down shadow because it drops down a shadow. And uh, right away you can see like a, like a white kind of thing there, but it doesn't contrast very well because it's uh, the background's kind of white, so if I put red, there you go, green. Um, does blue contrast? Yeah, blue looks pretty cool. Um, so we'll roll with the blue, and right here you get uh, X, X offset and Y offset. That means the X axis and the Y axis, which is left and right and up and down. Uh, the Y axis I'm pretty sure is up and down, axis, axis is up and down and the X is left and right. So uh, you can like you can make it drop down like you can make it drop down or you can make it drop up. You could like move it that way, you can make it drop that side, which looks crap. You can make it drop this side which looks cool. And then um, you can also turn the blur radius as you can see now it's like kinda like smudged. So if I was to make this black say it kinda got like a black smudge if I made this a little bit less, I don't know made the rendering distance now it just looks completely black behind it but if I put the blur down it'll like make like a blob I don't really know but um, yeah so let's turn this back to blue let's put the blur radius down again so it looks pretty cool, there you go and uh, there you go, there you have it, you've got an offset um, as you can see right here, if I use the pan tool right here, I've got this annoying little blue bit right here. But um, if I get the eraser out and uh, make it smaller, <laughs> don't want it absolutely huge. Too, that should do. You can just zoom right in, and um, probably should tell you how I just zoomed right in there. If you hold control and scroll your mouse wheel, you will zoom in. So there you go. Control and then mouse wheel the other way, you zoom back out. And there you go, I cleaned it up. Sometimes you have to do stuff manually, but it makes a difference, does it not? That little blue bit that's, that was there, it's not there anymore, it's not annoying. So there you go. And that's how you make uh, noise, that's how you make noise, and that's what noise is. That's how you like tilt your image. Um, there is a zoom function which really just zooms in and out and I prefer not to use it because really it's um, it's quite annoying and it really does mess your stuff up sometimes so I prefer just to steer clear of that um, and the drop down shadow which is this thing here which is really really cool you can make some really smart things with this if you know how to um, if you've looked at my youtube channel uh, art thing you can see that the, there's a little bit of drop down shadow in play there so um, if you enjoyed this video, and yeah, and yeah, uh, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, favorite, uh, all that jazz, share. You know what to do. You've watched lots of videos before, I'm sure. So um, see you guys all in the next video. Remember to comment on what you want to see next, and yeah, goodbye.